we go. Good morning, guys. Heading on over to Gail Goshi's farm. Gail's a third, fourth generation hop farmer, and we're gonna grab some crystals today. We're gonna take these wet hops, send them back to the brewery, and hopefully get a Pitch and Camaro brewed tomorrow. So we've just arrived at Gail Goshi's farm, and as you can see, they've uh, started picking and harvesting uh, the hops. What we've got here is a conventional Willamette, but they've gone out, picked everything off with the combine, loaded them onto uh, trailers, and they're bringing them in for processing. So uh, these vines will come in, they'll actually get handheld and put on, uh, on pickers or on conveyage lines and taken up to shaker tables, and they'll get separated out. The uh, whole hops will get separated from the, the leaf and stem material. And then once that's separated out, that'll go on conveyage and it'll go to the uh, killing or drying room. But uh, we're here and we're seeing it in action. The hops are being brought up here for drying. They're being dried at 135 degrees. You've got huge boilers and heating elements that are just kind of recirculating the heat through there so that you get an even distribution and dry elements of the hops and they'll sit here for an extended period of time. Once they get to a reduced moisture content and they're ready for baling, they'll get moved over into another room for baling purposes. They'll test it at that point and then it can go to uh, out for distribution for either pelletizing or sale as whole hops. This is our 109th year of harvesting hops as a family. We farm about 450 acres of hops this year. All of our hops are salmon safe certified. About 30 acres of that 450 are organic as well. So today, Hopworks is out to pick up some organic crystal. And I'm really pretty pleased with the, with the crop this year. And I think that uh, you're gonna see some really beautiful, bright green organic crystal hops. That one's really nice and fragrant. So once those uh, vines have been picked and they've run through the, uh, the shaker and they've been separated and we've separated the leaf matter from the, uh, the hops, they'll get conveyed over for drying. Drying is at 135 uh, degrees and then uh, once they hit a, uh, an appropriate moisture level, they'll get kicked out and they'll actually just get stored in large rooms like this for, uh, for eventual baling. But uh, whole hops that we purchase are exactly like this. They'll just be baled and put into uh, mylar bags. In harvesting hops, the, the whole vine comes in from the field. The vine's hung upside down from how it's growing in the field. And then the, the first process is to, is to take off all of the hops and all of the leaves. Somebody figured out many years ago, in, in the 50s actually, that hops are round and leaves are flat. The screens move up in motion, so they're turning upward in motion. They blow the leaves flat against the screens and then the leaves are carried up and, and, out, and out into the what we call the trash. So this will be the staging area for all the hops that are going to get baled. They'll get put in this box up this conveyage and then uh, they'll actually get brought over here where they'll get baled out. Once they get pulled off, they'll get weighed and then they'll get put off for, uh, for storage and for eventual baling and then uh, you can see all the bales that are uh, in play now. We're at a separate facility that's used primarily, I think, only for organic uh, harvest, and so they're just uh, back into the drying rooms and separating it out, and we're just uh, collecting some before it gets dispersed. Well, we're all packed up, just about ready to go back home and brew. 103 hot pounds of hops. All organic, all goshi, all salmon safe. Didn't get better than that, huh? Let's go.